Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to run you through how we can have VLOOKUP getting an input of a variable sheet name, where the range which we are specifying from a different sheet, we can have the sheet name be input by us as well. So if we see in the current data set, what we have, we have the fruit name and the month, and then this is the desired output we need from the formula and we have fab march and april respectively now if we go in what we need is we enter the fruit name we enter the month which we are looking for manually and then we get the retired option now in a traditional we look up it would work something like this where we say we look up we do the lookup value then we give the table array, which we can go into any sheet, select it, then the column index number, which should be two, and then true or uh, false for the approximate and the exact match, we'll do zero for the exact match and we hit enter. Now, this formula works fine. However, the issue would be, if we want the formula or the output from the March sheet, what we would have to do we have to redo the formula where we come back and we have c2 we go into march select this again again follow the same procedure of the formula all the syntax stays same we hit enter and we get what exactly the output we are looking for now the way we are looking for is this particular formula if you see this March exclamation and then range B2 to C12. We want this to be variable or be input by us. Uh, we can do that. Let's go through. Again, if we look for the formula, we again just type B lookup. The lookup value we are looking for is C2. This is the fruit name mentioned. Now, to have the variable sheet name being getting input, we'll use the formula or a function named as indirect. Now, indirect is a function which is used to give a text reference inside any formula. So we can use, it will take the values or combine the different values to give you an input in a text reference to any of the formula, which in our case would be we look up getting the reference of the data which it's looking for. So how we do, we do C3, which would be fab, then we type in an end sign, which is the joint sign in Excel, where it helps you or tells Excel that this have to be joint. Then if you remember, we had the exclamation sign. So we put exclamation as a text and we put it inside the colons, the double colons, what we say, or the apostrophe. Then we had another end because we have to input the range from B2 to C12. Now remember, this B2 to C12 would also be taken as a text. So we do B2 to C12. We close this indirect formula or the function, then the normal VLOOKUP. If you see at the back when we were typing, right now it's in the text reference once we close it it again comes back to the vlookup as the nested vlookup concept works uh, again we are looking for the value 2 so we put comma we put the column index number which would be 2 then we are looking for an exact match we hit enter see the values so mango for the month of the fab is 100 we can change it further to march or we can change it to April. We can change it to April. It value changes. We can move it to bananas. The value changes to 50. If you see, this is 50. We can change it to fab. The value changes again. So guys, I hope that you understand this concept of indirect where we can use a particular cell to get the value for a text reference for giving a reference for another sheet hope you enjoyed this video and you understand the concept if you do please like and subscribe my channel thanks